If you're a beginner user, there are chances that you're looking for tools to help improve your AI art. So today I'm going to cover a bunch of them, starting with GFP GAN. GFP GAN is free, it's online, and you can basically upload an image and it will fix a face using an AI algorithm. Now there's a simple interface you can use, however, sometimes there's some limitations or it can crash. However, you can also use the full interface and I'll link to all of these in the description below with the tutorial, but the results speak for themselves. If you compare this image to this one afterwards. Next is to choose a photo editor and I highly recommend Adobe Photoshop and learning the skills associated with Adobe Photoshop. That way you can edit, add text, cut out images, touch up artwork, even use generative fill to fix up little details in your image. It's really the most powerful photo editing platform out there, but it does take a little bit to learn. So I do recommend Adobe Photoshop. Otherwise, there's a few simpler platforms you can use. There are things like Luminar Neo, which is an AI photo editor. It allows you to do some of these things as well, such as upscaling, cutting out images, and adding some basic sort of effects, layers, and even adjusting color. Otherwise, if you're looking for something basic, you can add text and do designs with. Canva is another place to go. Simply pop your AI art onto your sort of image and you can start adding text and things around it, but the photo editing is a little bit limited. But uh, any one of those three to get started can be a great way to help improve your AI art. Next is the Adobe Express Background Remover. Now I'll pop a link to this in the description, but it's a free background remover. All you do is come down, hit upload your photo, drag your image across, and it will remove the background and you can download your file. If you have Adobe Photoshop or Luminar Neo, you don't need this as those features are included, but this is pretty handy if you need a free background remover. There's also a few other nifty tools you can use here online as well, like resizing, converting images. So check that out if you need something done online quickly. Also, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you don't want to fall behind in your career, I highly recommend you keep upskilling and learning new things in order to stay up to date. Now, I'm personally always trying to adapt with the times and Skillshare is an online learning video platform that can help you do this. Now, my creative and business goals are to improve my YouTube videos, my artwork, and also sell more digital products and learn how to do that in order to improve my passive income. So I've been exploring Skillshare and have found a whole bunch of courses that can help me improve and continue to be my own boss, including video marketing, personal branding, and even passive income. Recently, I tried this course by Charlie Commence about how to stand out in Society6 and make more money with print on demand. She covered the full process, including how to identify trending topics and art styles and how to combine them for more sales. So I've been using that myself to create better artwork for my print on demand stores. This course is run at a very easy to follow pace and there's no distractions from ads or anything like that. So you get fully absorbed in the information being presented. I've even spotted on my next course, which is all about growing an audience with video. Video. And if you want to learn more about AI or AI art, there's a bunch of courses on that also. If you're not sure where to start, check out Skillshare's Learning Paths. These are sort of like curated class collections that operate almost like a playlist, so you can master specific skills or areas of skills in a particular industry. I'm really interested in this particular learning path about how to create and promote your own personal brand with zero experience. And it includes classes from multiple creators. So I'm getting a nice diversity of knowledge. It sort of covers a few more bases. But because they're hand-picked, they all fit together and flow nicely as Skillshare has personally curated these classes. Remember that no goal is too small. Small attainable goals tend to snowball and help you grow your career online. So try your first class for free. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Now back to the video. Another big part of improving your AI art is actually learning how to create better prompts. And you can get some references pretty easily by going to websites such as freeflow.ai, where you can search for and copy prompts off their website and some really good quality images there. And there's even a few Twitter users out there, which I'll link to in the description. But a good place to start is under the hashtag prompt share. So you can find a few prompts that way and even some Facebook groups, which allow people to share their prompts in their images. So you can use them for reference when you're trying to sort of create better prompts for mid journey. Also, there's two moons.ai where you can grab a whole bunch of free prompts for a bunch of platforms or even premium prompts you can buy. Uh, so that's another resource for finding cool prompts you can use in Midjourney. And of course, I highly recommend going into Midjourney's website and checking out the community feed where you can go to certain images, open them up, and you can actually see the prompt and the settings there that you can use and create images from that. Also, don't forget to check out my Midjourney Styles playlist. It has a whole bunch of styles you can add to your prompts that very easily and quickly change the way your images turn out. The next tool is a face swapper called Insight Face, and it's actually a plugin that you add into Discord, and you can also add your 
your mid-journey bot into Discord. And then what you can do is take your images, upload a photo of yourself or someone else, and it will use AI to swap those faces and does a pretty good job in the process. So you can actually customize the faces of characters created in mid-journey with this really easily. And it's a very powerful tool with a whole bunch of options. And again, there's a tutorial link to in the description below, along with a whole bunch of other tutorials in regards to the things I'm sharing today. Next is vectorizer.ai. Now that allows you to actually upload any of your images that are suitable for vectorizing and it will automatically convert them into vector graphics. And if you're not sure what vector graphics are, they are images created from shapes that allow you to scale to an infinite size and print at almost any size without any loss of quality. Now, certain images are good for vector, some aren't, but compared to bitmaps when creating things like cartoons or simple illustrations of flat colors, vectorizer.ai is a great way to create something that you can scale to any size. On that note, you also want to get a really good upscaler. Now, I highly recommend Topaz Photo AI or Topaz Gigapixel. They're the best upscaler on the market today. Even though Midjourney has its own upscaler, this will allow you to take it to the next level and make it even bigger than before. Or even if you just don't want to use the Midjourney upscaler, this does a way better job anyway. There are some other upscalers out there. For example, there's one in the Luminar Neo package I mentioned earlier. Not as good as this. And there's also upscale a free upscaler which i will link to below but again it's not quite as user friendly and not as powerful as topaz photo ai so i highly recommend checking that out i've got topaz photo ai on the screen right now when you can see the results are pretty incredible also just quickly don't forget to check out my mid journey cheat sheet it has a whole bunch of commands and parameters everything you need to know to maximize what you can do with mid journey the next is postimage.cc now, sometimes when you're uploading images into Discord, people have issues getting the URL out of it in order to do image prompting. What I recommend is using postimage.cc where you can upload your image, go straight to the direct link, copy it, and you can use it right within Discord for your image prompting. It's a lot easier than trying to back and forth within Discord, so I highly recommend that if you're having issues with your image prompting. Also, there are some good marketplaces out there for you to actually sell your AI art. For example, Wirestock will actually upload to a whole bunch of different stock photo sites. It allows you to sell packs or even framed art prints. And it's actually quite easy to get set up. And if you're not actually submitting to various marketplaces, you can upload your images basically for free and sell on their marketplace. But also some good print on demand stores out there, such as Redbubble, Zazzle, or even Spreadshirt allow you to create your own prints. And even Displate. Displate creates these really awesome metal prints that you can use. And I'm not sure how easy it is to get approved by Displate, but it is something you can use if you've got some cool AI art that you wish to sell. And it's really cool because all you do is upload your file and when someone orders one of your prints, it gets printed after the order has been paid for. So you just get your cut. It's basically passive income. And although there's still some skills to learn on marketing those images and actually getting your customer base up, it can be a very powerful way to use AI art to generate some income for yourself. Also, another really powerful way to improve your prompting is to use prompt generators where you pop in something you'd like to see and you can apply a bunch of styles to that and generate prompts pretty easily and basically review those to see what keywords were used and kind of experiment from there. Now I do have a list of the top prompt generators out there. It's a video, I'll pop it up on the screen right now so you can check that out. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.